Coach Versip, start with an opening statement, and then we'll go with questions for the players. Well, we knew this would be a uh, very tough environment to play in. Uh, Kurt and his staff do a fantastic job, and Bowling Green has such a respected program. Um, and opening up a new facility, we totally understand that excitement uh, as we just went through it this past weekend. Uh, give them a lot of credit. Uh, they really came back and did some really good things against us. Uh, if we did a better job taking care of the ball uh, early on in the first half <coughs> when we held them to five points and we were on 16 forever, that's when we needed to really stretch it out and get uh, about 20 to 22 points to five. And they just caught up and then they always stayed in the game after that. But I thought uh, Alex played really well down low, got the ball down there, and then uh, Courtney Moses just made a heck of a heck of a uh, heads he play at the end of the game to be able to put us ahead by one. Courtney, just take us through that play. At what point did you think about doing that? Um, I actually thought about it in shoot around this morning. Uh, me and KK were kind of joking around shoot around this morning because uh, Bowling Green plays a two-three out of bounds, so the bottom three players are. All their focus is up top, and so KK this morning was like, I'm going to bounce off Chelsea's back, but it didn't end up happening. So I kind of had that in my head to start, but especially at the end of the, um, end of the game, with as tight as it was, uh, I mean, everybody's attention is going to be out on everybody else, and nobody's going to be paying attention to the, to the bottom. So everybody's hurt, heads were just turned, and just hit it off the back and, and scored off of it. How many times in your career have you even tried that? Uh, I think once or twice in the AU game, but never won a game on it ever. As you mentioned, heady play, uh, Coach. It's, it's, that, that's not anything you can draw up. You just got to rely on players' instincts. You do. And Fakar Malone used to do that quite a bit for us. And, uh, you know, Courtney, um, you know, she gets that twinkle in her eye, and there's always something going on. So that ended up being a good thing for us. But uh, um, our no one really knew what happened. Like, our players were waiting to see what was going on. And, she just, she's just a smart kid. Courtney, do you feel like you guys got a handle on the turnover situation in the first five or six minutes of the second half, and then did those resurface again? Yeah. Right back in the game? Yeah, we definitely got a handle on it, and you could tell. I mean, we went on a run, and then once we started turning the ball over again in the second half is when Bowling Green came back on it. So, I mean, I, we definitely got a hold of it in the beginning of the second half. Alex, just was it, was it a situation where they just had to get the ball inside to you and felt like you had some openings? Um, yeah, you know, we've been practicing that, getting it down low, playing, trying to get it in and out, trying to get a rhythm going. And, um, luckily, I went in down low and able to score, but if not, we had to do them outside, which get it back to our shooters. Coach, was that what you needed out of your half more offense, the ball to go inside a little bit? Well, we have to execute our offense. Our guards run around and just run the plays, but don't understand the purpose. And, uh, I feel with you know Alex coming back, she can score down low for us, um, and so you know you're not coming off the screen looking for your own shot all the time, you know. So I thought we settled down, and yeah, you got comfortable, got 11 point lead, and it was going to her and being able to score, you know, like six in a row there, and then went back to craziness. So I mean, our guards have to learn how to perform better. Um, because when we did execute some things and we drew things out, if they would just understand, hey. Courtney just came out and hit a three out of the timeout. Great execution. We got the ball down to Alex. So I think this team is still trying to understand. We run plays, but there's a purpose, and we have to see who's really playing well and where the ball needs to be. Does it matter just recognizing Alex had, had an advantage down there in the second half? Yeah, definitely. Um, whenever you know Alex gets high, you just have to keep giving her the ball, and you just have confidence she'll knock it down. She does it every day in practice. Definitely everything she just said, totally agree with it. Coach, just uh, what happened to Brittany? And I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I just saw blood. She almost passed out on the floor, but I guess the rule is officials aren't going to call. If they see blood, they don't call a timeout or anything, so I guess the play is done. She was talking to the official saying, but they didn't stop the play. But she got nailed. She got a big old cut. It's pretty woozy. Um, sitting out in the hallway right now trying to cool down because it was so hot in the gym and then you get, get you know, we don't know if she has a concussion or not. Hopefully not. Any hesitation about putting her back in? None. 
She had it. She had to get on hand headband on. So. <laughs> like you're ready, yep, all right. So <coughs> she's been yeah, two headbands, tape and that. But she's a warrior. I mean, you've you've seen Brittany play for four years. No matter what, she can be taped up from head to toe. But she's going to go out there and help the team. Is Alex just to be able to get a win on the road, kind of the situation you guys did. What kind of building block can this be for you guys? Um, it's definitely a good start. It was, it was ugly. But um, it's a good win on the road. It's a great environment. Um, Bowling Green's a great team. And uh, we know now that we have to prepare for it.